the impact of the shadiest one? Yeah, of course. They had a How glitch. Imp- it was about to go platinum. They had some sort of Def Jam had some sort of glitch in this. CDs that went out and they had to pull shit back and it was, you know, it was all kind of crazy shit going on. So so what I'm telling you is, right, the way y'all feel like Illmatic captured y'all culture, right, and broadcasted it to the rest of us is the way we feel about Dub C. Nah, here go the thing, bro. Illmatic crossed. Illmatic went from New York to California. Shady's one didn't go from California to New York. But again, listen to what I'm saying. It really didn't go to California. What didn't? Well, how, how, how how long did it take Phil Maddie to go gold? Are you no, saying? It, it went gold relatively quickly. Platinum. No, it, it, it didn't go go. It didn't go relatively gold quickly. Go look that up again. It didn't go. I, 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 but, I, but, but what do but what do that what do that Glass, what do that got to do with anything though? Glass, so, I'm just so, so, niggas in California, niggas on the West Coast know who Nas knew who Nas was, bro. Not from Phil because I didn't know for sure. Yeah, but you were six. Look, I wasn't. <laughs> I'm not no little kid. Nah, nah, when did when did Nas hit? When did Nas hit the West Coast for you, Glasses? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you, Jess? What did you just say? No, all I was gonna say is for me, and 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 again, I can only speak from my region and where I was at. Dub me. I, I've had this conversation with him. The low profile shit for us. Initially, for a lot of us, that was the entry point, and then it was quiet until West Side Connection. But, but this, hey, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't you know, when I became a Nas it. fan, glasses, kick it, and it's probably like a cheater because it was Dre when Dre tried to do his crossover shit. Firm, when that firm shit came, I was a Nas fan, but you Listen. were aware of him before that. Well, we no, I mean, because Nas released his first album, what about 91, 92? No, 94. Nah, bullshit. Nah, yeah, 94. Nah, the same yeah, nah, year, man, came out, first came out with it. He first came out with it. Nas he released first his first album about 91. No, 94. No, not yeah, bullshit. 94. No. Right? He came out the same year as Biggie. When Biggie was you're, hey, you're, listen, you're, my you're nigga. Thinking, Ill Will thinking. Records, nigga. <laughs> Ill Will Records. I just googled it. I re- listen, 91. Nigga, I'm older than you. Ill Will Records. Google it. Oh, shit. 91, weird. nigga, like I said. No, I'm what? saying, I was it, just, it was listen. April 19th, 1994. But what you might be hey, listen, thinking Hey, listen, you want of, me to screenshot this you, shit and put it up on no, the toxic? Listen, you can, but I'm going to tell you. But I'm Are gonna you telling? Tell I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what it was. It was Halftime, which was on the soundtrack for that Michael Rappaport movie. I can't remember. Uh, Zebrahead. It was that first. Look, it was understand in that movie, by the like, way. Like is like. I'm reading the shit. Those records Just came another out, day in the those, projects. Those are the demos that came out later and got bootlegged. Way 91, after, bro. Way 91, after, though. It came out no, in 91. they weren't. Stretch and Bob, so the, the first records that leaked after halftime and um and after back to the grill so you telling me i was imagining shit while i was in jail yes right yes. 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 i'm imagining this you, shit you was, no, you was no you was dream you was dreaming up of of nah you was like a certain type of nah hell no nah. i'm sitting in front i'm sitting in youth authority <laughs> i can tell you every fucking cassette tape i had nigga. bro yeah, i'm telling was, you it was dub see the mass circle nah, I, had, I mean whack had it before it came out that's Man, man. That nigga Listen, club. Man. He had it. He had it before. It was, he had it before it was made. Hold on. You know what? Hold on. Let me. Bro, I'm trying I'm to tell send you. This your tell I'm gonna send this to your Illmatic. dropped in '94. I would take. I would take, I would take <laughs> just word for it. To be honest, I'll take just half-time, word for it. Man, half-time, just just made great beats. That nigga ain't no motherfucking uh, historian. Uh, historian. He, ain't no historian. Historian. he was there. Fuck out of here. <laughs> We have to a historian on Clubhouse when it comes to East Coast rap. Yo, Just Blaze is a fucking time timestamp king, bro. Me and Justin I'm, already had all these conversations. Huh, yeah, we had these arguments years ago. <laughs> time, G below, check your text, nigga. Time, oh, I'm gonna look. Time, Nasworth, check your text, to nigga. Grill. Okay, I'm gonna keep arguing with this. This nigga crazy. <laughs> then you had Nasworth. Nigga crazy as a motherfucker. Hold on, hold on. That's which a got remote 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 remote. Remote. It ain't hard to tell. From there, you had the various other demos. Listen, you, you can't had. rename. Mm-hmm. Listen, the lip tape was crazy. He want me to believe that they renamed some shit and rewinded three years. The shit was out in 91. They, they renamed it in 94. Nas will prevail. 
Not as Will Prevail was played on Stretch and Bob in, night, in, in early 93. And then he got you looking at that, right? Hard to tell. I, I see it. Glasses, are you looking at, at that, right? I see it. You got to make it to make it to uh, your little profile pic. So just yeah, he see he he yeah. see what the fuck. Oh no, he Hold know. On. I'll do a so so Hold just on. so just is saying that after Illmatic went, they went back in time and dug up his demos. Exactly. Exactly. Was, no, but no, listen. Ilmatic. But it can't say ninety one. But then he said That's it didn't come out till ninety four. Hold up, is Eric still here? Because some of that stuff was paid for by by, by, by them. Eric, right there. Eric, right here. Yeah. But you can't ask him. Yeah, he, y'all fucking is high up. He don't smoke. Fuck I heard Nas. You probably heard the nigga. I heard Nas on live at the barbecue. I didn't hear him all this demo oh, shit. Oh, and that's, that's the other one. I, that's the other one I forgot. Live at the barbecue. Thank you. And back Wax, to I grill. don't see nothing in your PTR. Shout well, out Kurt now. Listen, change, what I'm change your photo, Wack, to the to the thing you got a picture of. Listen, listen. This is what I'm saying though, right? It's, 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 need it's, your head. Now I'm gonna do better than that. I'm gonna send it to you. Why? I don't even want to do it like that. We can't see it. Hold on, no, because you know, man, put it I'm, in gonna you I'm gonna send it to all the people on here. Just that, text that, it to that. me, I, I'll put it up. I'm gonna send it to you. There you go, bro. You got it. Because oh, this thing crazy as a motherfucker right here. <laughs> but listen, listen, I, listen, what we can do, this is what I'm saying. And it's just, listen, I do not, I fuck with now, bro. It's not that. I'm telling you, I fuck with him. It's not that. When nah, I'm saying, nigga, you said dub C, nigga. Uh, the, the shadiest one. The shadiest one. No, I did not. No, I did not. I said the shadiest one to us had the same impact that Illmatic had to them. Well, that was my shit. I can't front. Nigga. The that shadiest one. Oh, you was saying, 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 saying locally on the West Coast? Just right. like how Illmatic was. We were just there, how, so we, just like how Illmatic was locally on the East Coast. Nah, but that Illmatic was on the East Coast. DTR on, on me. I just put it up. I think well, that's, that's a demo. You know, I don't even want to say that. it because because I might need the nigga just brace for a beat. I don't want to do it, so I ain't putting it up. Y'all put it up. <laughs> I put it up. I put it up. <laughs> I ain't gonna no, why the fuck? Hey, hold up, hold up. Why, why the fuck you make me put it up then? You, I mean, you don't need on this for no beat. I need mean, you to play the song and beat the song. We need the interview, huh? Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, he need you to play the song and beat his own. You don't need that nigga for no beat. <laughs> This is this is a bootleg of the demos that resurfaced. So you said that rewind life. So this is what I'm going to understand. You said <laughs> the shit that was out in '91 came out in '94, and then rewind it and let it go '91. No, this wasn't out in '91. They released uh, it later, but it was it was start. They started recording maybe around that time. Hey, my nigga, what, listen. When you when you pull up the date shit was released, it it's gonna it ain't gonna have the date to record it. It's gonna have the time stamp date of release. Uh, uh, how how old was Nas in ninety one? Like fifteen, nigga. What the fuck nah, that yeah, mean? How old was Lil Wayne and Cash 15. Money, nigga? What that mean, Lil Wayne? <laughs> that same, nigga. How how old was he when he did live at the barbecue? Ilmatic, Ilmatic, he was twenty one, right? Ilmatic, he was twenty one. No, he's. He I think he may have even been younger than that. He it came out when he was. No, he was born 19, in um, nineteen. He was nineteen 17. when it came out. No, he was he was born in seventy three. Nas born in seventy three. <laughs> this is nigga whack crazy, dog. He and, born and in '73, my nigga. Album came out in April '94 that year. Oh, he was 18. He was 19. 18 in '91. That's what I'm saying. He started writing it at 16. It came out right, right before he turned 19. Hey, Judge, you was there when he started writing it. Whoa, you was whoa, right whoa, there whoa, with whoa, 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 I ain't giving whoa, you all whoa, that, whoa. nigga. I'm gonna give you whoa, whoa. the super producer, but we ain't giving you all that. That's out. Hold up, no, no. It came. How? Elmatic came out. Elmatic came out when he was 20. Nah, Elmatic just said he was 19. Nah, right? But I do it. To my understanding, was 20. in my conversations with him, he started right there with his, when, he, when he was 16. And he, according to him, and this might this might be foggy a little bit. But Van, mute your mic. He said he, he came, it came out right, right when he was around 19. Wait, I don't no, it came, out when he, it came out when he was I, 20. No, nah, what year your Maddie I, came I, out? What year was it? April 1994. Yo, live at the barbecue came out. Yo, live at the barbecue came out in 91. It was 21. It was 2021. Live at the barbecue came out in '91. So, but but, but yes, that's not that, the point. We nah, don't track. tell him that Nas didn't drop music till '94. Don't tell just Blaze that. I might need a beat. I might need yeah. a beat. I got a little nigga named True Car. I need a beat, bro. <laughs> yeah, you right, just Blaze. Nigga. Matter of fact, <laughs> that shit came out in '95, nigga. I'm with you. Nigga. I'm gonna give you a whole nother. <laughs> right, hold on. Let, let, let's. Can, can we get back to the original point? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to do. Just let me get back to the point. 
So what yeah. I'm saying, Nick, back to my boy Nick, right? Nick, look, Nick ain't even here no more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, he so is look, right bro, there. So what I'm saying, Nick, if Ether is not his most impactful record, then we talking about it for our the world. It can only be one of those two. That's as far as the greater Nas record. That's uh, Royce gone now. The rest of the culture. He got a call or something. Royce gone now. But I'm saying, I'm, but I'm saying, just as far as impact to the Don't rest worry, of the country, not just to New York, no, not just to New York, Roy's not just back. to the East Coast, right? But to the rest yeah. of everybody else, it, it only could be Ether, or if I ruled the world, there's nothing else that's as impactful to the rest Those of hip hop. Definitely, probably his two biggest records. I would not argue that. And my I'm saying, question, great. Right, my question was was more so, I feel like, or my statement rather, was I feel like everybody probably has a, a slightly different uh, system of checks and balance, balances for greatness, right? Yeah, but, so but, yours, but, might, yours might be different from mine. I cannot argue the impact of the two records you're speaking of because and that, and, that, and, that, and, and that's what I was telling the homies at the first beginning. Like, we got to talk about greatness because greatness is measurable. Everything else becomes preference, like best, better, all that's preference, what you like. What I'm saying is greater. When when ether is a part of the culture permanently, it's a part of the right now. Niggas still say that oh, nigga ethers you. Feel me? Right now we look at that battle. That's one of the greatest moments in the history of hip hop. Feel me? That is that song. That song is the pinnacle of probably the the greatest East Coast beat ever. All right, okay, let me so ask you. Last... Let me let me ask, hold on, bitch. Hold on, real quick, Richard. All right, so look, this question right here will be for just. Fredo and probably Royce only. Maybe if y'all want to chime me, y'all can. But I'm just trying to get the other side's perspective, right? East Coast, Midwest. So what, like, like how Glass is explaining the cultural impact of Ether? What songs from here would have traveled to where y'all are at and would have the same cultural impact? Just to draw a parallel, as as Justin said. Head, head where are you from? Deep Cover. I'm from LA. Head is a West Coast. Don't even play with that. Nigga. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't sure if he was west. That was, I wasn't that sure if he was west or, or from the lower mid. That's what I wanted to make sure. Yeah, I'm from LA. Okay. Ask Fredjo. Fredjo or no? Fredjo or no? That's a Queens niggas. All I, I would like to know to them what it is because to them, that would them niggas be a good is in the storm. Them niggas is in the yeah. storm. All right, go yeah. ahead, Fred, Fredjo. Well, actually, the whole Chronic album was crazy. From Deep Cover, the whole Chronic album. That shit was the biggest thing in New York. That shit was like. Niggas was fucking with that more than New York niggas. Like Nick, like Snoop had New York on lock. Dre had New York on lock. Facts. Wow. Somebody just, said, somebody just said that. I just said that a second ago. That's all good. Nah, Blaze was totally against that. No, what? No. <laughs> <was totally against. laughs> hey, Jack. Hey, what? That, that, that nigga, boy, that quick, beat, boy, look. That, beat, that nigga wax. jumped out them shoes that's in his ass. Look at that nigga jump out them motherfuckers. <laughs> Go ahead, Fredro. Go ahead. Go ahead, Fredro. Finish. 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 Nah, but all the DJs, everybody. One, one record, OG. One record. If you had to pick one record, OG. Yeah, that's one that's, record. That was real. Like niggas had to come. New York had to get saved. You know what I'm saying? Like New York, like Onyx and Wu Tang. When we came, that's when Drain them niggas took. They cooled off in New York. But other than that, them niggas was crazy. I th I think we're we're concentrating on one specific element, understandably. But um, you also had other elements from the West Coast, such as Far Side, shit like that, which was obviously a different type of hip hop. But that yeah. shit was ringing off yeah, That shit was ringing. That Far Side, Souls of Mischief, Hieroglyphics. All of, yep, yep, that, all, that's, all of them. All of them had great runs nationally. I'm, I'm glad you. I'm glad you mentioned that because we don't talk about '93 until enough. We don't passing me. But, 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 I, but my I, favorite hip hop song of all time. Can I, but yes. I'm gonna tell you. One thing. Right, right. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let him finish. Let him finish. Go let ahead. Me, let me just let, let me just finish. Is in all of this back and forth and all of this conversation, I guarantee you right now with later Dre records and Cube records or or Stoop records, whatever is a different story. But if you go back to that early '90s era, aside from G thing, if you go to a party right now um, with a with a slightly younger demographic or even our demographic. One of the records that's going to ring off the most is going to be 93 and so on. And I feel like that doesn't get discussed enough when we, but, but have I'm gonna tell you, debates in barbershop, but, but I'm gonna tell you why I think that hey, is crooked. Let me say this real quick we, we've, I think y'all, for some reason, y'all keep forgetting there was records before 93, 94 
And and what Head asked was, what was the impactful record for us? We could go back to Ice T and Colors. That was an impactful record for us. Well, coming yeah, from the West that's the East Coast record. That nigga from Jersey, he ain't from LA. Well, whoa, y'all whoa, claimed whoa, LA. Whoa, like y'all claimed whoa, that nigga whoa, claimed whoa. LA. Ah, uh, come no, on. That nigga no, from no, Jersey. Black, I don't do give that a fuck with no nigga no, saying that nigga from Jersey. Do that whack. Come on, whack. No, no, nigga, come that on, nigga whack. from Jersey. Black, come on, whack. Hey, bro, look, not uh, only is he uh, from black, Jersey, bro, listen to me. Did, hey, listen, yo, look, I want y'all to hear something. Not only is he from Jersey, he's okay. my neighbor in Jersey. I got a crib in the nigga with tattoos. <laughs> <back to his, laughs> you can't, can't tell, tell me that nigga's that's from Jersey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Eric, hold on. I want to, I want to, Eric, hey, go man, ahead. Let me, tell you something, let me tell you what Ice T, let me tell you what Ice T did, bro. He came out here, adapted our way of living and way of moving. With his East Coast swag and made his fucking music. That's what he did. It hey, sound hey, like Eric, pop. Wanna, hold on, hold on, Bishop. That is pop. Tupac, he an East Coast nigga too. Tupac did the same. Tupac no, no. did the same thing. Tupac They're did the ex, same shit. He is ex, not from fucking LA. You niggas want to same corrupt. corrupt. We claiming all of them. We claiming corrupt all of them. Corrupt from Philly. All of West Coast niggas. Corrupt from Philly. You right. So corrupt is this like the race draft yeah. for rappers instead? No, no, no. We're not giving them back. Don't listen to Wack. We're not giving them back. That's her. <laughs> right. We're keeping it. Hey, listen. I'm going to keep it real. I don't fuck. Listen. I don't honor turnouts. Uh, this is just real. Nigga glasses. If a nigga was from another set before he's from 7th Street and the politics oh, started, shit. do that nigga got a voice when the politics oh. started with the 7th Street or do we got to sit that shit out? If he was from another hood and then turn to your hood and the politics start, <laughs> does he have a motherfucking voice or do we got to sit that shit out? He can't do everything niggas do. Come on, my nigga. This is hip hop. This is not all It's shit. the same shit. No, 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 no. Yo, no. Ice-T doesn't mind niggas knowing he's from fucking Jersey, bro. That ain't no Ice put down. Nigga, no, Jersey, no, a no, lot of music true, came out of Jersey. Yeah. But I'm saying Ice-T, Tupac, they corrupt our West Coast niggas. They no, West they're Coast not. Rappers. No, they're yes. not. They're East Coast yes. niggas that migrated to the West Coast. How the fuck you gonna take a nigga birthplace, where he went to school, where he grew up at, and all that shit and say he over here? What about DLC and, and, and Rage? And they're both DLC West from motherfucking mm. Texas. I don't know where the fuck Rage from. You got me on that. I never paid her no attention Bro. like that. After Bro. she did the homie the way she did the homie. Other than that, I didn't give a fuck. But, but what I'm saying is Y'all know where them people from, but y'all want to claim them like that. You can't do that. You take it. That's just like us claiming some of they people over here like that. That's where the nigga from. Wait, so who, who has ever come from L.A. and come out here and made their name? Nobody. And I'm going to tell you one person that did. Y'all claimed game before L.A. claimed I'm going to tell you somebody that Y'all claimed game before L.A. claimed it. New York claimed game. When New York claimed game, then L.A. jumped on the bandwagon. <laughs> And when did New York claim the New game? York was claiming the shit out of the game. What, what you mean? <laughs> when? That's Are you crazy? Doing New York? Oh, shit. Hold on. You don't bro. want me to get slay on this motherfucker. <laughs> you don't want me to get slay on this motherfucker. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, let me shut all y'all down right now. <laughs> DJ Head or Glasses. Y'all answer this. <laughs> let me tell you what y'all niggas didn't know. Hold on, bro, because y'all talking out your ass. Hey, what's game's oldest fucking child's name? Harlem, nigga. Harlem. He was in fucking yeah, New York. Out we was playing everybody name, else. Harlem. We didn't name his child. No, you missing the point. <laughs> That's where he was making his music. <laughs> That's where he was making his fucking music at, my nigga. No, that ain't Duh DD, Duh DD for Mansfield Crip is a Harlem, New York nigga. Game was on that man's couch on the come up. Eric, you might know Dougie D. You should know Dougie D. Of course I do. I but Doug, right? I, I, let me I, ask yeah, some questions. Y'all niggas on here talking out y'all ass and don't oh, know what the fuck y'all talking. So let me ask you a question. So Ice Cube, shit. Ice Cube left up out of L.A. It was in New York and got niggas from New York to oh, do his shit. Does that mean the same up. thing? Oh, Are you weird, my oh, niggas? Oh, Does that mean the same weird ass shit like that? Does that mean that Ice Cube, the nigga that started to beat with N.W.A. on L.A. soil? I'm just asking a question. I'm are you saying the Ice Cube the nigga that kicked? Wait, wait. You really are you, go there. Are you really saying the nigga? Wait, let me let me let me do shut you down remember, on this one. Hold up, wait, hold on. You, you really saying Ice there. Cube the one who told Dre why you got the New York dudes out here rapping on our beats and rapping our words? You talking about that dude, right? Well, but then he really came over and made a whole record production. with that effect. Hold up. 
If he went for production on there, the East Coast. Are we talking about the Ice Cube whose first Cube is from LA, my nigga. Don't even do that, bro. Cube is from Los Angeles, my nigga. But are we? But you're talking about claiming and he's he not from Compton. What, he's from fucking I didn't say LA. He was. But his, if you listen to Ice Cube's first recorded records, what did they sound like? So you telling me you claiming Cube in New York? You know what? I'm gonna bag up. This what I'm gonna do. Hey, this what I'm gonna do, uh, young guys. I want, I want y'all to ask Eric B if Ice Cube. That's his generation. Is Ice Cube from New York? Eric is the one that posed the question. Why? Nobody's saying that. Nobody's saying that. He ain't from New York. He from New York. No, Eric is the one that posed the question. I posed the question and asked what I'm saying. He's not from New York. That we nigga's know. not from no goddamn. We know, we know, we know that. And I don't know why from New York. Can y'all answer this? Why original, do y'all original, like, original, y'all original, like original. to claim niggas to be from right here and they ain't from right here? Nobody's claiming anybody. Boy, what do you mean? They claim it fucking. Claim it fucking they claim it pop. They claim it fucking iced tea. Them niggas ain't, ain't they ain't Those right are the niggas that went over there and said LA, LA, and y'all. Wait, y'all wait, he them. went over where? He they those are the niggas that went to LA. So they come over, LA. that means you coming from somewhere, right? I don't know that. All I know is what they saying. Wait, wait. To go LA. to someplace means you coming from someplace. Tupac, Tupac never made a song to live and die in New York. He made a song to live and die in LA. Because because the nigga was a dick rider. Everybody know that. So that's y'all problem to deal oh, with, not all. Wow. Don't get me. Hey, listen. When the nigga was up north, he was dancing with a with a, a fucking Gumby. When he came down, all of a sudden it's my Pyro. The nigga adjusted to the jungle he was but in. That's y'all, but that's y'all. But that's y'all problem, not. No, that's called a turnout. That's not our problem. We don't respect turnouts. I don't respect turnouts. Right, you can't. You can't say y'all don't respect turnouts. And there's murals of him everywhere, and niggas wear Machiavelli jeans. Machiave- I ain't niggas do not Machiavelli wear Machiavelli jeans. The fuck nah, is this nigga bro. talking about? Who wants Machiavelli jeans? Machiavelli jeans. What the fuck is that? I, I, had throw, I had to throw a dig in there. I'm sorry. I had to throw that in there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is that like that? Respect. They wear that with Outkast. I claim. I claim. They wear that with South Pole and Lot 29. Yeah, but yo, I, listen. I'm just saying, like, get I'm get a friend. region. Look, bro. Get a region. They artists. Don't just like that's the but whack. You no, know, but, but you know the West Coast, Coast the West Coast came to claim Tupac though. West hey man, West check Coast. this out. That nigga was at death row 10 months before he got killed. My nigga could hang in his jungle. Up north, I don't know how long he was up north. These politics different down here. That's why it didn't last long. When you say up north, whack, you talking about like Oakland and all that shit? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, a okay. whole nother jungle, my nigga. Okay, okay. That's a whole nother jungle fucking with this gang life that we living down here. Listen, I hear Real you, shit. I hear you, and I appreciate hearing that from, from West Coast niggas. I've never heard that before. Hey, let me explain I'm... something to you. Hey, let me explain something to you. Any nigga that got it in their mind that they going to rat pack and rush whack 100 and let me live is crazy because it's going to be some immediate violence. The same thing with that man that they put their hands on. But the reason why he did it is because he didn't know the jungle. That's just like me being in New York and then is a live wire nigga from Queens that Frejo no Frejo no nigga ain't no rat nigga if you ain't gonna do that nigga all the way in don't do that cause they coming back right now this is what happens when you yeah. perpetrating the fraud you know what I'm saying and you don't understand where the fuck you at you know what I'm saying so at the end of the day you cannot just cause he came down here and he was a part of a movement down here we can't say this way he was from shit I think he was up north longer than he was down here 